Oh, hello everyone, good evening, happy Saturday and everything. Welcome back to Real Talk Football. My name is Kieran. If you're new to the channel, please give this video a like, please subscribe. There's a door going in the background, I have to close that door, hold on. A lot of creaking doors, anyway. Um, happy Saturday as I said, or happy Valentine's Day if there's couples watching this, although that would be quite weird. I don't know if I'd advocate that. Yes, today we are previewing Chelsea versus who are we playing tomorrow i think we're playing newcastle chelsea versus newcastle monday night football and oh my god what i've witnessed today gives me lots of hope liverpool have lost 3-1 to leicester they're in a bit of a shambles at the moment and if we win on monday we go fourth can you believe it can you adam and eva unbelievable um, I, I honestly, I don't know what's happened over the last four or five weeks, but somehow we've managed to worm our way up to fourth position. And if we win on Monday, we go fourth. And I, look, it baffles the mind really. But to be honest, we'll take it. We could even manage second. You don't know with this season. It's very strange. Thomas Tuchel is is doing a madness because the performances aren't great. That will come with time. But we're winning games, and it's something that sort of baffles the mind we're winning games with sort of mediocre performances Sheffield was pretty bad Barnes the FA Cup wasn't great but he did do his press conference I have the quotes here you know we have to get the quotes it's, apologies for writing at the back I don't know what this is but um I did look at the press conference I don't have the glasses but um Tuchel says Werner is back from injury he must add a little niggle Havertz is out um Silva will be back for Southampton and Tuchel is not happy about the Barnsley performance. That's what I've written down. I think he said something along the lines that the academy is important to him as well, which is important for this football club as well, because the fans love to feel that sense of identity with youngsters coming through. And Tuco said he likes to look at in-house matches with academy and stuff. So, um, all good things, all good things. And talked a bit about Kai Havertz. He said he hopes he can reach his potential, and there's no rush and all this, saying all the right things. But yeah, he's probably going to go for that same system, five at the back. Um, in this game for Newcastle. I think Newcastle play a similar system, if I remember correctly, under Steve Bruce. So uh, the team I would like to start this game would be Mendy in goal. Mendy got the rest, obviously, last game. So he's ready. He's fit and ready to come out. Newcastle put in a shift, put in a performance. And then right wing back. He could go Callum hudson Doy because it's a bit more of a game where Newcastle play low block. So I think I would... Start off with Callum Wilson. So obviously, we switched to a four at the back, and it worked quite well against Barnsley, I thought. We looked a bit more defensively vulnerable, though, I noticed. So, yeah, it's a bit of a sticky one, but I think I would go right wing back, Callum Hudson Adoy, and then in centre back positions, I would bring in Aspi Quaita back in the team, Rudiger, and then you go with Christensen, I think, in the middle of that back five. He looks to be back from that injury he sustained in that Barnsley game, the head injury. Don't know what that was. He got booed to the face, I think. But Zuma, I wouldn't expect him to start. I'd expect Christensen to come in in the middle of that back five. And then left back or left wing back. We're looking at a Marcus Alonso situation, I think, again. Or we could see Callum move to that left wing back side and um, him starting Reese James on the right side. I wouldn't be surprised to see that. But I think we're looking at Marcus Alonso. But I don't know. It could be Emerson as well. In the middle of the park, I do expect the likes of Jorginho and Kovacic to start again. Jovacic, as the fans like to call them. Jorginho and Kovacic in the middle, double pivot. I think to a rates that he did rest Jorginho for the last game. Because of Werner being back for this game, I do expect Mason Mount um, to start in behind Tammy Abraham with Timo Werner. I think Timo Werner will play that sort of in behind, uh, left forward role with Mason Mount. Those two will play in behind Tammy Abraham, who's in form at the moment, so I think I would start Tammy Abraham. I think that's the team I would go for, definitely. I don't think Ziyech is in good enough form, to be honest, and I know that will disappoint a lot of people. Ziyech is capable of special things, we know this, but um, it's producing them on a regular basis, and he hasn't really produced those levels since October, November time. So I understand if Tuchel... Leaves him out to the team for this game. Same with Kai Havertz. He said he wouldn't be ready for this game. And then you have Christian Pulisic who was not good at all against Barnsley. So I don't think I would start Pulisic either. I'm trying to think. I don't think that anyone else I left out. Obviously Billy Gilmore misses out here in this scenario. Kante as well. 
but I do expect that double pivot to start of Kovacic and Jorginho because they were both rested uh, midweek against Barnsley. So yeah, I think that's the team I would go for. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know which team you would like to start in the comments. Four position. If we get into four position, it would be a madness. How things can turn around so quickly. It's been like six games since Thomas Tuchel took over. We're already challenging for fourth. So early. I th- I expected us to put up a fight, but I didn't expect it to come so early. I thought it would be the last eight games we'd be challenging for fourth. But tomorrow, it's right there in front of our eyes. We just need the players to go out and put in a shift and perform. To be honest, I predict a win. I think if we don't win this game, people would be referring to us as bottlers. So I don't want that to happen. But we need to be going out and winning the game and put in a convincing performance. I don't want to see a sludge fest like Barnsley. A sludge fest of mediocrity, you know. That's what we saw Wednesday or Thursday against Barnsley. We weren't playing well at all. The players were passing out from the back when they should be booting the ball at the pitch and playing off Tammy Abraham. So I want to see a convincing performance. I think we should be going out and winning this game. 3-0, 3-0, make a statement to Liverpool, who's behind them, Everton, you know, we should be going out and making a proper statement and winning this game convincingly, and then we have Southampton following that game, so it's there for the taking for us, we just need to go out and grab it, that's it, have a very happy weekend everyone, if you did enjoy the video, I advise you to give it a like, please subscribe as well, it helps out the channel a lot, and as always, I thank you all for watching, appreciate it, and peace.